Hey guys, this is Alex. Um, after my recent um, masterpiece uh, picking this uh, Schleg Everest, um, Jeff Moss asked for me to gut it, and I said, "Well, okay, why not?" So uh, let's let's gut it. So I, my trusty plug, plug follower has uh, returned from the uh, to the land of the living. So uh, hopefully um, nothing will shoot out at me too badly. Oh, we already have a problem. down after quickly checking for serrations, no serrations. Okay, and in the chambers, no serrations. Okay, excellent. Okay, hopefully that's pretty good focus. I'm going fast today, this is good. All right, so we have all normal bottom pins or key pins. Some of them are slightly green probably color coding. And we have all spool top pins, drivers. And they are of different lengths, so um, doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason for their length, so maybe it's just random. Um, and then the little security feature is this little pin here. And it's a little spring. Now that guy sits down. I have to remember, I make sure I'm you can see that. Make sure that's in sharp focus there. Okay. So this is the bottom of the of the plug. And I'm not gonna put the spring in because I don't want it shooting back out at me. But this little guy sits in here like that. The spring tension pushes him up. And that little finger, let's see if it will work, put the key in the right way. When the key goes in, it grabs that little, so the finger would normally be pushing out, and it grabs it, oh fuck it, I'll put the spring in, why not? So, spring goes in here, like that. The little finger pin goes in there. Okay, so in its resting position, it's spring biased to the outside, like that. And in the shell, there is a little hole, let me go this way, and that little tab get, or the little point of this thing gets stuck in the hole and won't let the plug turn. So now, when the key goes in, the key has this funny little notch in it, which picks up that, the little finger of that pin and sucks him in, just like that. So normally he'd be kind of like that, and that draws it right down, okay? So, um, and I presume that's for key control. Um, so you can't, you know, they can put that in different spots on the key and mess with you. Um, and so the way that I was picking it is that I was taking this pick, and you, you know, nothing special about it other than that it's pretty thin, and I was running it down along this ward here and basically just shoving that thing up and then turning the plug either way, whoops, Oh, that was great. Oh, good, the spring stayed in place. Um, when, then once I turned the plug a little bit, it would catch on the little hole, and that got him out of play, and then it's just picking a, um, a six-pin tumbler lock with lots of spools, which was, you know, it was a good pick. So, there you go, Jeff. That's the Schleg Everest um, lock gutted. Um, oh, and this is the little ring that retains the back of the thing and it's much better than a circlip. Anyway, so, and there's your key.
Okay, with a with a uh, highly secure direct bidding code on it, I believe. Um, yeah, it looks like one, doesn't it? Yep. So there we go. Um, anyway, uh, this is Alex. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like my videos. Oops, there's the key again. Oops, sorry. Um, and uh, as always, have fun and keep it legal. Cheers.